Hello there Gemini, welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do the next step on our tarot journey which is the Magician. We started this journey last week and we started with the Fool. Um, if you haven't seen that, I'm sure I will be linking that video somewhere. Um, so guys, we're doing the Magician today and um, oh my goodness, this car just want to keep on spinning. <laughs> This is the second time I'm starting your reading, by the way. It's something was just absolutely blocking. It didn't want to flow. I was like, what is happening here? So I cleansed my space and I just did a bit of a, did a bit of a feng shui thingy here. Now I'm better. So let's see, Gemini, what's going on in your reading? Okay, so the magician has got access to all four suits of the tarot deck. We've got wands, which is fire. We've got pentacles, which is earth. We've got um, cups, which is water. And we have swords, which is intellectual or air energy. So, Gemini. The magician can use any one of the four or all four elements just as you see fit. Um, there's an infinite, sub, infinite supply of these energies and he is also wearing the Staff of Hermes, which is the Messenger of God. So, let's start. I've only got two elements that we're going to look at today. The first element that we're going to look at is the one that you need to focus on the most. What is the strongest element or the strongest place of focus that you need for your manifestations to come to power today? And we have fire. So this is very passionate energy, but it's also action. Um, fire is the planet of Mars, and Mars is all about action. It's masculine energy, um, and it and it, it it the drive comes from the soul. So whatever it is that you feel passionate about in your life, there might be a new business you want to start, a new job you want to apply for, um, maybe you've seen the most beautiful house you've ever seen and you want to buy that house, whatever it is that you feel passionate about, do something about that. Do something. Now is the time to get some action going so that you can get this uh, manifestation grounded in your reality. The next one I have, the next element, is the element that you should allow to flow the most, meaning don't focus on this energy too much. Allow it to flow so that the universe can allow the flow in your life as well. And we have we have air. Gemini, this is going to be difficult for you because this is your main element. You are air. So air energy is intellectual. So you're going to have to go with your heart on this and not your mind, not whatever your mind is telling you. You overthink everything and that's normal for you but you have to let this flow. So when a thought comes into your mind, see the thought, recognize the thought, see it for what it is and allow it to flow out again. If that thought is something that you should pay attention to, it will keep on coming back and coming back and coming back. So make sure that you're paying attention to whatever it is that, that comes into your mind, but that you're allowing it to flow out again. Allow the flow to keep happening. That's very important for your manifestation. Right. Now, next one is what needs to what needs a bit of fixing for the magician to be strong right now. And when I say what needs a bit of fixing, I mean whenever there's something in your life that is not happening, you're you're basically waiting for something to come in, you're waiting for someone to sign the deal. Um, whatever it is that you're waiting for, but it seems like you're waiting and waiting and waiting and nothing is happening. It's because you created a block within yourself. And this block for you, Gemini, is the chariot. And the chariot is positive movement forward. And this is something that you are blocking in your, in your, in your life, in your, inside of you. And you need to get away from this. You need to, you need to undo this block. You need to unblock this energy. How do you do that? The world. Ending this cycle of overthinking and thus waiting too long for things to happen around you. And then you miss the boat. It's so interesting. This is not normally <laughs> the meaning I get for this card. But this is what, what Spirit is showing me right now. Is 
because you overthink things so much, you sometimes miss the boat and, and you don't move forward because you, you think you have to think about this. You see what I'm saying? You think you have to think about this more and then you don't and then you miss the opportunity and then you maybe have to wait for the next one, but then there's no movement forward and that's something that you need to fix here, Gemini. What is your manifestation superpower? Oh, hell yes. The king of swords. You are the king of swords, Gemini. That is very true. So the, the king of swords is someone that's very wise and someone that is um, um, someone that knows everything about his trade. Someone that's very um, comfortable in doing what he does best. That is you. So I feel that you are such a wise creature gemini that you can now stop overthinking and you can now start to put the action to your thinking because you know what you're doing you know what you're doing gemini now do it guidance from your magician we have darkest fears so normally this is the nine of swords normally this is what happens when you overthink things is you create a space in your mind to allow fear to come in and stop you from living your best life and this is what you need to guard against this is what you need to get out of your life gemini in order for this manifestation of yours to happen properly gemini i hope you enjoyed this and that it helped you a little bit i will see you again next week with the empress take care